Fuck, fuck, I feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go, we. What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. Got a smile on my face, cause the shit I've been finding out, people, that I had to bring to you as soon as I could get it all put together. Now, if you followed me for a short while, then you know that I have shared with everybody that there is a connection between AMC and GTII. That they're both in a short squeeze, they're both fighting the shorts, they're both using the same tactics, they're just going to dif a different direction. All right, Where GTII is taking the interstate trying to get to the end, Adam Aaron's decided to take the back roads, but watch how it all connects. AMC, Highcroft, GTII, and today's news, and how they all connect together. Watch. And like I said, if you've been with me for any time, you've seen my GTII chart here, okay, where I keep track of all the news that's going on with GTII and how their fight against the sh short sellers is going. And I knew that the warrants dividend didn't work. And I knew preferred share dividends wouldn't work. That's why I said Adam Aaron has to know that APE won't work because it didn't work for GTII. But what caught my interest was when I seen the connection that at the same time that GTII signed a letter of intent with Alt-5 Sigma they wanted to issue a NFT dividend to their shareholders. That was going to be a Picasso. They had bought an original Picasso, had it etched in what? Gold. And that gave it its value. And they were going to give that dividend of the Picasso to each of their shareholders. While they were working on this, Adam Aaron at the same time was working with Wax Wallet to establish being able to handle the traffic and all the stuff that needs to be handled with blockchain and giving shareholders an NFT for Highcroft, an NFT for AMC, and an NFT for Ape. He also gave NFTs for Spider-Man and all the other great ones that y'all got. Now, like I said, what got me was the similarities here. I said, okay, wait a minute. They're, they're up to something here. Both of them are doing the exact same thing. They're both wanting to do NFT blockchain to shareholders. So I really started paying attention to what GTII was up to and what didn't work and the progress that they were having with this Picasso dividend. But that was the first connection I made between AMC and GTII. They were working the same plan they will use Alt Sigma 5, AMC use Wax Wallet, they're using a Picasso, and he's making his own. All right. But here's the thing, people. What is he doing? He's testing it. You'll understand why he's testing it now instead of going straight to a dividend when you get to the end of what's going on with GTII. You have to look at the two side by side because what GTI is going through right now Adam Aaron's already putting up a roadblock they won't be able to do that to us so that's the first connection later on in the timeline of GTI we see that Adam Aaron is tweeting that he has just sent an email a unique code to AMC Investor Connect members to claim their I own AMC NFT and everybody was upset about that. Alright. But here's the thing. If you were a member of Investor Connect, did you get your NFT? Yes. Alright. At the same time on this timeline, their GTII is still fighting to get their Picasso dividend to their shareholders. Now, how they connected. Think about it, people. GTII is fighting with the SEC, SEC and the 
FINRA and everybody else to try to get their dividend to their shareholders. All right, the reason they're holding it up, all right, is they can't guarantee that shareholders will be able to receive their dividend because it's not controlled by this person and that person. He established that he could send an I own AMC, an I own a, a AMC Highcroft Black, an AMC Highcroft Gold NFT to the members of Investor Connect without a problem. Now, in the beginning, there was problems, remember, that some people didn't get the email. Some people lived out of country, and they had to work out the smaller things, but they worked them out internally. Here over, over here in GTII, they're fighting with the SEC while Adam Aaron is establishing, getting rid of all the kinks out the program, and then boom, he's going to drop for them. They're working the same plan. They're just doing it a different way. Now, now we we've connected AMC and GTII with the NFTs. The next dot we're going to connect is AMC to Highcroft, and it's going to end up making a full circle. Just relax and watch. I might have to break this into two videos. But to the third dot. The third dot in this equation is like Adam Aaron threw a hand grenade into the center of retail investors when he took AMC money and purchased 22% of a gold mine. Now that's up for question. I say it's 11%. Other YouTubers say 22%, but I think they're wrong. I'm going to get that straight when I talk to Miss Diane. I'll ask her because High Cross website shows that AMC is 11% shareholder of Highcroft, and I think the other 11 that the YouTubers are talking about are the warrants that we own or have available to us. That's where the 22% comes from. But it was like a hand grenade went off <laughs> in the middle of retail. Why in the world would this man buy stake in a freaking gold mine? We're a movie theater chain. Why not purchase new movie theaters? Cinemarks just went out of bankrupt. But he had a plan. Or I should say, they had a plan. Okay? So, we get 20, we get 22%, 11%, depends on which way you want to go, of this gold mine. And we get introduced to Highcroft. And the more we dig, the more we find out Highcroft is a damn good investment. In fact, Adam Aaron's investment into Highcroft, he was able to beat BlackRock, Vanguard, and the rest of them before they got over there and started getting into it. So we're ahead of the game there. But we're not only just ahead of the game with BlackRock and Vanguard, who just purchased position in a gold mine today. That's right. Global Tech Industries Group and Gold Transactions International Execute Stock Purchase Agreement. Now, I'm going to get deeper into this in a later video, all right? But the guy from New York who's, who's done lost his wig, <laughs> he doesn't know this has been in the works. They've been working on this since around March, but they've been wanting to do it. But it's not the gold mine that they're really wanting. I'll tell you what it is in another video. But in just want to bring it around to this, people. AMC and GTI have been connected. I told y'all that. They're both trying, they're giving NFTs. GTI's is held up in the legal system with SEC and, and FINRA and all. AMC's moving along. We're testing the system. It's working fine. We buy stairs in a gold mine. Today, Global Tech Industries, they do execute concerning a gold mine. But it's not the gold mine they're after. I'll talk to y'all about that in just a little bit. So, do you see how they're interacting now? All right. Why? All of a sudden, both AMC and GTII, who I've told y'all been working the same plan, 
Now both have come together and they both own gold mine. So, there you go. You think I'm full of shit, then you, I don't know what to tell you. I'd subscribe because some of the other stuff I got coming too. Because look right here where I found. We'll talk about this in the next video. That when the silver rally happened, the beginning of December. But this story right here, TD Securities, they ended up getting stopped out of their fucking short positions when silver ran up. We're going to talk about that. What it means to Highcroft. What it means to AMC. What it means to GTII in my next video. Love y'all. Be blessed. Subscribe. Don't miss it. See you then. Cold wind, there's been a glitch in the matrix. They out here wild and it's too much, I can't take it. Red pill, blue pill, my mind knew they were shaping.